Hello everyone, welcome back to RSF1 Racing. We've got Division 4 around Spain today. It's currently me, Spooky, in the box all alone right now. I'm just trying to see if the Malibu's around or that. But it's looking to be another good race again. Spain's been a good, an eventful track throughout the whole week. Had quite a lot of good racing around here, and I'm sure the Division 4 will not disappoint today. For those in the chat currently, tell me if everything's alright in that. Just audios, etc, etc. A couple cars already coming out. I think it's 17 drivers in. I believe we're expecting 17, I'm not too sure, but three will go out at the end of Q1. And Jamie will be the first person to start a lap. I can't remember the last chicane first, but I think it started off around this nice super right hander using the curb on the right side down this main straight. Up into 8th gear and using that DRS as well, pushing towards this nice flowy chicane. Using the curb on the right and the left nicely. Avoiding it on the left side just there. With long sweep from right hander. Can be quite good, can be misjudged quite easily. Very well taken. Turned 4 now. Getting round there and avoiding the curb, don't want to touch the grass there, it can really unsettle the cart. Using no curb in the turn of turn 5. Pushing up here, you can quite a lot of oversteer up here if you don't take it correctly. As we just saw there a little bit. Onto the next DRS straight. Using the curb and right there, sweeping it in, avoiding the left one. Right up the second part of the a little bit over steer there, you can see it can be quite easy to pick up. And pushing down the last cane, probably the easiest part of this track to invalidate. And Jimmy slides out the exit as well. It's a decent first lap though. Coming to the line, it'll be a 116.3. This Barry about to finish his lap on 15.7. I do believe that's roughly the times we'll be seeing tonight at 15s. Fish sticks put himself on a 16.7 just there. Colin will put himself caught for 15.6. Prime is pushing to the line. Hugo 17-4. Who's next to come round to that? Chrismic. I do believe Chrismic's one of the new drivers for the McLaren team. Going rope right now, rope puts himself a 16 6, P4 for him. Button, P5, a 16 6 also. Fine catch, I've just come across. I'll go say this is invalidated. I believe that's the Williams. Flaming again. Who's like that? On the shop there. 
Where they push through the line again. Yep. There's a cooldown lap there, going for another lap, but it looks of it. Get Chris coming around the last corner now. He'll put himself front of a 16 3. Primus just crossing the line there. Chris making his first race in the McLaren team, looking to impress it, I'm sure he will. A little bit wide down there. Push to the line. 16-9. Rogan validated. Get Vinny coming to the line now. 15-7. I believe behind Tim's old manzi. Old manzi puts himself P7. One move out of here. Of course, Saints move himself into P12. And Connors is going to invalid laply here with Pitlin in the pit. Uh, currently, I do not know where Malibu is. I'm trying to see if MD wants to hop in currently. We'll soon see. Prime is pushing to the lines. Hop tenths down his up in his time, sorry. P9 for him, a 16-7 this time. And then everyone looks important on that. I believe that was Scotsman. A lot of invalidations popping up here and there. Can be quite easy to invalidate. Around here, it's going to be really easy to get the oversteering end up in the wall. So you set in about to start a lap closer from behind by Alco Saints. Alco pushing himself up to P4 for 16 flat. This Jamie, third lap in these tires, I believe he will be sticking it in the pit this time. Yep, there we go. Nice and Dunks about to start his first lap of this session. What's that? But it's just in the pit now. Looking back to last week, we had a very interesting race last week around the Netherlands track. Oh, very deep there from Charismic. He's pushing on. Uh, last week's track, it went from Inters Q2 uh, uh, 1 and 2 through to softs at the end. So quite a lot of drivers managed to get through in the softs. And then the start of the race turned out to be full wets. After that, track evolution changed quite a lot. Primus, the weatherman. But on the Inters Nib, they closely followed behind after him. Then, as we got to about the last, I would say, maybe seven laps of the race, I do believe we got onto softs for a little amount of time. We finished with 10 drivers last week, half the drivers unfortunately crashed out. Hopefully, we won't see that this week. Done from Craig Stena just there, this is just sweeping right hander. Still quite a few crashes coming out there last week, hitting the wall and putting themselves out of qualifying. They also saw a couple in the race as well. Craig is in a good push line, yep, he has indeed around the last corner now. DRS activated and that'll put himself P13. RSF and Scotsman. 
last week I did believe he had an unfortunate race. Managed to get Gala points eventually, I think he had a incident in Q2. He, he was out, which is quite surprising, and Cornish was also out in Q2 last week, I do believe. So some of the top guys were out. Scotsman coming in the last corner, we're using all that track in the exit. The chicane coming round, get the DRS activated straight away. Got himself P7 for four, uh, 16 4, sorry. Check out on the laps. Talks can die about to start a lap. Track's quite quiet currently. Toxic MW. He is currently leading the championship, he will look to retain that bit wide in there. Primus Gaming on that outlap, people looking to move himself up. I do believe Primus is currently sitting second in the overall instructors. Uh, have a look at that. Though a bit of hesitation through the first chicane there. Managed to get through though. Glad to see we haven't have any retirements of any crash now yet, we've got Collins who's currently retired feeling very safe which he should do a 10th year at the top and Jamie currently in 5th place I would think that a 16... 16-5 might be the uh, cut off, I believe they'll be getting faster eventually Primus, but why the ever keeps it valid, pushing to the line really improve. Improvement uh, down in his lap at 10th there unfortunately. He has got a fuel symbol, but I do believe he's got time to pit again. So the circles, I believe uh, the green ones are for the DRS activation. So when you're within a second of the car ahead you cross that you'll get DRS on the straight and I believe the yellow one's a speed trap please correct me if I'm wrong in the chat Talks in W pushing to the line P4 15-9 This Primus hasn't validated his lap I do believe he'll stick it in the pit. Uh, JC Racer. Last one to set a lap coming through the chicane just there into the final corner. DRS activated to the line P8 16 3. I think round here, a bit of rain would spice everything up. I think after last week's race, Division 4, I don't want too much rain, yeah, I do believe. One of the drivers was outstanding last week in the rain, I think it was. Who was it again? Rogue. I do believe it was quite fast in the rain last week. Outstanding pace. Three minutes left of the session. Most drivers will be pushing out now. To get them final times in to try and push themselves through to Q2. 
Q2. Chris, me, Craigie, Fish Sticks, Primus, uh, sorry, not Primus, uh, two McLarens and one of the Red Bulls currently in the drop zone, they will need to get up as quick as they can. Craigie Senna has cut two tenths for his laps, quite close near the back end here, they can push him up as far as almost P10. It's been quite good for him as he Turn round the last corner, push to the line, and get that DRS activated straight away. 16-1, very good lap from him, P8. Mason Dunks about to start his lap, where else is that? Rogue. Yeah, Hippo, I was. I thought it was as well, not too sure, a little bit. Glad to think everybody else thinks the same. Alco goes two tenths faster. I believe that'll be a retirement in the pit from the Toxic MW. I don't keep much time to get back out again. If this makes three tenths up this time, that can put him up quite high as well. P11. Scotsman retired quite early. Could be in a danger zone right now. Can this make round the last corner? Using the curb on the left side, pushing to the line, P11. Just the thought, Scott's been quite in danger now. Every driver behind on a lap, or just on the out lap. Unusual to see Scotsman retire so early. Mason Dunks taking us through the last couple corners of this track, through his cane, nicely done. Don't want to touch the big yellow curve, they can really throw the car off. Round the last corner. DRS activated to the line, gain 9 from Mason. They're all closely followed behind. DRS P14. There's two Mercedes now in the drop zone, along with that one McLaren, who I do believe Fishdex is on a lap, yep. Up in these times doesn't do good, hopefully they can gain some time for this last sector. Back on board, I'm sure I think that's how Mercedes coming to the end. Both Mercedes coming to the end actually. Old man's looks like he's... Oh, he's running out of fuel pitting, that's unfortunate for old man's to be out so soon. P... Yeah, currently P16, Primus. Push to the line. It was two tenths fast, but they're P15. And fish sticks, uh, sorry. That's qualifying over, so any driver that crosses the line now, that will be their final lap. Mm -hmm. Thanks for pointing that out, Jamie didn't notice that. Yeah, the Scotsman currently still okay. The Primus is back. I think Scotsman is safe. Yep, Rogue Pits and Fish Sticks up on his team again. You bear with me two seconds, folks. Sorry, I'm. I do believe Malibu is just about to join us. There we are. Fish section on the last chicane, really improving, put himself even higher. Hello, he's pushing himself to the line. Getting a DRS. I do believe that's qualifying over. Well, welcome back. You haven't missed much. <laughs> yep, one of the Mercedes out. The other one. Oh, you're not in the game. 
Here we go. Yeah. So old manzi and fish sticks out of Q1 onto Q2 we go. Ugh. Have you included your audio? You can't hear your voice, sorry? Can I be in the chat here in Malibu? Oh, hopefully someone in the chat can clarify. Hopefully we've not got that problem again. Currently migrating the host, that can't be too good. I had that last night, I had to get a restart. Apparently we can't hear you, to say. Uh, I had this problem mostly all of last week. And like I usually make the party and it usually works the same with everybody else I do believe. Too sure. Well, it was fun. It's <laughs> funny about that. Is that like now? Cool. Or is that like a... Can I be in the chat here, Malibu? No. No. Let's see if that one no. works. Maybe. Let's see if I can hear you this time round. If I can't, I'm so confused. The Q uh, uh, Q2 is just ended. Oh, this is not good. Abdi's disconnected. Ha ha ha. I'm literally yeah, loading you now. You can hear me now. Hear you now. Apparently. Apparently. Uh, Right, but anyway, I've just disconnected for me, so... It's a lobby break. This is... Oh god. It appears that way, let me... <laughs> so funny. Why should the lobbies break? It's, it's a very... I joined in the lobby breaks, like, clearly. Doesn't want me here today. So... Um, I'm not too sure what I'm doing to say to that. Oh. What are you doing then? Let me go. I'm gonna message one of the drivers and see if it's broken their side as well. Oh, this is not what I like to see. I'm trying to find confirmation of if anybody knows what's happened to the lobby. Please wait. So you can. Oh, I, I'm not. It says there's no drivers in. I've just disconnected for me. Let's see. The folk are saying. This. I'm 
trying to see if they're actual still on the lead. Buy an invite please, as well. Invite only. That would be nice. Because I have friends that I like to bombard. There we go. Thank you. Uh, no one seems to sure about what's happening. I think we're having a restart. I'm not too sure. Yeah. I have got no clue. If, don't know if MG's still in the chat, if anybody knows what's <laughs> happening. I don't know what's happening at uh, this point. Two things to invite Scotsman. This is horrific. Every week. This is a. I like this black screen. I'm looking at it right now. I'm looking at it for the past 10 minutes. Trying to talk to Scotsman. Is your lobby broke as well? Is that all me? I thought it was Division Head, but anyway, I mean, we can do a restart if that suits. I mean, for me, it's broke. I believe for half the folk, is it broke as well? Some folk are still in Muddy Biscuits typing right now, I'm just going to see what he says. Uh, it was on my screen flickering, migrating host, migrating host, and then it kicked. I said, not enough players in lobby. Uh, I do believe we'll have a restart then, if hibdi has been kicked. Right. Right, so currently the four Ibdi were having a restart because Ibdi's been most folk have been kicked as well. I can't well, half the folk have been kicked to the lobby so we currently can't finish or do any quality. Scotsman, did you get kicked again? Did you try and get back in or I'll restart my F1 as well and hopefully I can see if everything is very confused about still in the lobby, Scotsman. Oh. Is Folk and Div 4 still in the lobby or is it just you that's been kicked or has been If that's the case, then folk can set maps. Uh... That's guff. Play me, play me, eh? I'll just. Uh, we'll have a restart and if they can just join back off Scotsman again and get going again. Alright. Uh, I have, please. Cheers. Oh, it's always more half an hour than all. No, 
I've loaded in now. It's loaded in. People have done times. I don't know. It popped up on the stream in the screen saying that uh, you finished P7 and just jumped and then we'll get kicked. Uh, but, uh, not the best. Alright. Ah, oh, so we're waiting for everybody else to get back in again and start. Which isn't the best, but here we are. So that was a waste of 30 minutes, so we start all over again. Give us folk a second chance, but I'm sure the drivers up top won't be too happy about that as we can get in quick as we can. Hopefully and get underway again. Is everything in the stream still working to folks? Everything still sound Entertain the stream currently and I'll invite him to. Got a small he's pretty face with the big face. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't say that. I should have just entertained now. No, I'm just sitting there like making fun of me. That's what Ben does. Anymore, but you used to be able to, you used to be able to, I think you just don't have a lap, then all to didn't do a lap, we just retire, haven't they? Jump on, but run the risk of the game breaking again. And here we go again, second time's a charm. He's starting to ready up now. As you, oh, you can't expect it. Malibu. There we go. 
And that should be us again. Benz, why did you send the send a broken heart instead of an actual happy one? Um, I want to join the league. You have to speak to like RSF one shame. What was the question? I was asking the chat if they can join the league. You can indeed. You can go to Twitter, Racing Series F1, and apply through there. Why do I break your heart, you then? Oh, sorry. You can message RSF1, Shane, and Xbox Doobly. Oh, the wee bot kicks about in here, also advertising the website. So if you wait a couple minutes, it usually puts it in. Hopefully, we can. Hopefully, we'll see you racing as well. Uh, oh, here we go. How? What do I do? What do, what do I do? That's a question for yourself. What do you mean? I, I don't know what I do to upset you, do I? But tell me. Yeah. You can bring someone else as well, it's just you both will have to go through like the like the internet test and and stuff like that. You'll have to go through that individually. So. Uh yep. Yeah, you can bring a teammate. Obviously I don't know if you'll be teammates in chance of you getting to be with a teammate there's five divisions five tiers in this so you could end up one of these up higher than the other different teams etc uh, magic marks we had a restart the re lobby broke mid say not even mid like two minutes into q2 and it just chucked half the folk out of the lobby and then couldn't get back in so i had to call a restart and hopefully this time it'll get in like that. Wait, is that how so are you doing Q1 again? Or is... I think we have to. Unless they've started away and they did a full lounge, I'm not too sure. Because I thought you just do like everyone qualifies. It just is like a slow, slow lap in the top 15, and the two people that weren't through just don't set a lap. And the tyre. If MD's in the chat, that's an admin of that. Can you drop the link to the website, please? I don't have the ability or the thing to do it, or as I said, you give it a couple. It usually comes up every once in a while in the chat. It's, uh, the night bot will just see. Just yeah, maybe a night bot that comes up at some point and he'll um. The bot will there just you go, there. Easy. Yeah, there you go, there's a website there. But anyway, drivers of it again. Who's the first one to go? Fish. Nope, it's not fish sticks. Charisma could be the first person. So I'm, I'm going to talk about this one. Let's go. I'll do it. It's coming into the 5k. You want to get a good exit out of here. Really crucial that you get out on the power. A little bit tight going through the final corner there, but it depends on how you're going to start your lap. Everything, everyone has a different preference. Coming down to turn one. Nice long straight towards turn one. Not in the actual start of the race, so it's quite short. Into turn one. Broke quite conservatively there, hit the curb on the edge at turn two, round turn three. You really want to be flat out here. Take a nice way to the curb. I think he's backed out. <laughs> yeah, he's backed out. I started doing laps and just retiring. Yeah, they're backed out. I think it was old Manzi. So we've got Scotsman now, he's in a lap. 
spots from just We'll continue through turn four. Going through turn four. Got really close to the apex. Oh, on the grass there for Tox. Uh, not Toxic, for Scotsman. Got a little bit out of shape. Um, going through turn five, now through six and seven. Got a little bit twitchy going through uh, from six into seven. Here comes through eight. Nice on the DRS early. Breaking it just at 100 meter board. Don't want to clip that curve too much because that can spin you around, especially on low traction. Going through the final couple of corners now. It's really crucial that you hit certain apexes here. Um, on the on the last part of the lap, coming through the final corner now. And sets a 1.69. Nothing. We did see faster, and the two people who didn't qualify in Q3 have now retired as well, so I'm wondering if they're doing what I thought they were doing, and I did as a lap and then just retire. Don't quote me on that, though, we'll hopefully see. Races about that. Is she? I don't think she is, no. Validated. Validated. But yeah. But Chris McKee's on a lap. It wasn't on a lap, but. Did a 121.3. Exactly. What you want, Primus, though. Through turn four. And the exit of turn four. A bit late on the power there. We lost quite a bit of time. We turned five, didn't get close to the apex enough. A bit wide. And through six and seven, really twitchy on the on the turn in there. Really, oh, this car does not look uh, very comfortable to drive in. So yeah, go down to turn nine. Now. Is the corner once again? Don't want to hit that too much. He manages to hit it, but he has to let he has to lift, which takes him quite a bit of time. Going through the final couple of corners into the chicane. Don't want to hit the sausage uh, curbs on it. You can run over the last one though, depending on what kind of line you have. Going through the final corner, really twitchy lap. It's still good enough for P8, but it didn't look at all comfortable. Yeah, quite a couple of drivers have retired already. I think we'll, they're just retiring in the cars. Yeah. Jesse Racer, I think, started another lap. She just about to finish a lap. I think she's about to finish not. Why is she gearing up so early? No, she doesn't care. She, <laughs> she just needs to do a fast lap because she knows she's throwing it. Okay, Saints doing that right now. Toxic MW. So that's the fastest lap at the moment with a 116.024. Okay, Saints. Currently on lap. Going through turn 8, going on to 9. Coming down, nice break. Validated. Yeah, I, I still want to see what he's, he's going to do. I do believe uh, Cornish was top of Q1 last round, uh, 15 6. Mm. Mason Dunks, who is currently going around. The last driver to set a time. And the other last driver to set a time besides Alco, but Alco obviously is invalidated. Pushing, but is empty really pushed? I think, yeah, I don't, know. I don't think anyone's actually pushed. I just think it's a uh... very twitchy. Or no, she doesn't really seem lucky to push either. Oh. 
Oh, it's been a terrible week for disconnections and restarts and the game being buggy and the game being terrible. Of course, we're sorry for the inconvenience. It's not our fault. Let's just blame Codemasters. Benz, give me like a a wool, like a massive wool in the chat for like Alpha Tauri or McLaren. The one. It's all I want. We do see the first dose of testing tomorrow, though. That'll be interesting. Are you gonna watch it? A testing, yeah. yeah. I watch a bit of it. I'm at work tomorrow, so I won't be like being able to watch it so much. But like, I I want to see the cars. I really want to see the Aston Martin. That's what I want to see. Um, In your opinion, what's the best livery? It's the Aston Martin for me. I love the Alpine. I think it's a great car, but. You know, I don't think anything to be in that, just that, that green, like that, and the name as well. Like, I could say Alpine all day, but like, oh. that's in mind, it's just kind of like, like it, feel, it, you know, it feels good to say that name and associate with Formula One. We, we also did see Ferrari last car to lunch yesterday. I mean, I like it. I added a bit of green to the side. <laughs> I don't agree with the green, but we're not even going to see the green in the game or pretty much hardly through the real life season because of the sponsoring. So, like. They just had a McLaren and then basically kept the same thing. Yeah. Then I asked you to but, give me like a wool, like a you know, W O O. But like. For the McLaren team, no, because you you like I didn't McLaren. expect Ferrari to change much. So I mean, if you ask somebody the colour of Ferrari, they're gonna probably say red. So yeah, I think more black in the car, like more red, more black. <laughs> Toxic for Paul. Uh. I mean, Toxic himself for Paul. Right, hopefully this doesn't bug out. A big man. Can't be having this. Ah, oh, there we go. Fingers crossed now. Oh, so I don't <laughs> know if anyone's seen... A fella's not big enough, is it? No. It's big enough. Got a... No, you've got a... you know, so like capitals and a really lot like a long like abbreviation of that word. What team do you follow the most in the F one? What's my F one team? Yeah. I think it's Aston Martin now. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest. Like, I love your predictions to... for the actual season. Oh God, um, I think it's a bit early to say. We haven't seen them testing yet. But if it's I had close. to say, if I had to put a favourite, I think it's got to be Mercedes. I think they're a favourite all the time since this Teba hybrid era started. Um, It'll be interesting to see the McLaren with the Mercedes engine as well. See how they can cope with that. But anyway, currently on the Q2 after it's been 50 minutes already and we're only in Q2. Love that. Point. Um, also, <clears throat> I don't know if there's people that are watching this that are actually part of the of the of the league or like don't know the association with the the uh, the shrimper the night bot where it's talking about shrimper um it's that's a gofundme um raising money to help some uh, help 
one of the fellow people in this league um, with his battle with cancer. So any kind of donation or like money would be absolutely 100% appreciated. And it's helping to help someone in need and that's what we really want to do. So, you know. Indeed. Thank you to everyone so that's got... supported it so far. You're, um, yeah, really you're all little you're all legends. <laughs> for supporting it. And um, now, helping us run it. Is Barry going to do what everybody else has done this week? Do a fake out lap on the sauce? Because personally, in Division 3, we uh -huh. saw a couple of drivers go out in the softs and then slow down to the line, use it for Delta. Because I, do, well, I don't think the softs can manage to the hards all the way to the end here, that's really tough. I think every strategy this week has been mediums to the hard, or hard to the medium, however you, or whatever you place. To be honest, I don't know the strategy around here. Um, medium's hard, medium's pet lap 13, 14, hard to the end. I mean, I think it's interesting. Um, well, I genuinely believe that whoever starts in the mediums sounds like they're going to win this race. So, you know, we start and start. Barry struggle. finishes this lap. I believe uh, Sauce 7, 6 laps. Yep, Barry Pitts. Get Scotsman on a lap who's currently got the. Where's Scotsman? So Scotsman going through turn 1 and turn 2. Through turn 2 takes quite a bit of a curb. Through turn 3, I think he's invalidated at turn 2. It's on my whole Jamie. elementary stuff and that is, it is Jamie. It's it saying that Jamie and Scott's uh, Jamie's on mediums, but I'm on board and on softs. Well, we'll find out when he crosses the line anyway. So, if we turn five, doesn't get too close, but close enough to the, to the apex. I don't want to completely go over it. Very wide entry into turn. Seven, three to turn eight. He's invalidated. So that's enough for him. I think turn uh, seven, turn eight, uh, turn six and seven, sorry, I think are going to be penalty zones for quite a lot of these guys. Validation. I think the last chicane probably the most. It can be very easy to. Cut it and keep up with folk. Jamie Pepsley, Toxic MW. RSF on Scotsman. Turn through turn one to turn two once again. Takes, doesn't go across the curve this time. Remember his mistake from before. Looking for a wide line through to turn, through turn three into turn four. Nice and wide, getting good entry, but gets a little bit too close to the grass. Going over it, going also very wide on the exit. In turn 5, it gets too wide, doesn't invalidate on the exit of there, it's easy to do that. Okay, it's a nice wide entry, good power coming out of the corner, no, uh, no slide or anything. In turn 8, easy to lose the car there if you touch that curb too much. Breaking just before the 100 meter board into this, what I call it a pair pin. Nice and wide going over the curb, get, doesn't get too close to the, uh, the, the corner of the inside that can spin you round. Close on the curb, you want to get all these corners right in the lap sector, otherwise if you get one wrong you can ruin the entire lap. Goes way too over the curb, I think that's an invalidation, yes it is, and it comes yeah, into the pits. Toxic MW, just behind coming around the uh, right hand, I in the last it's MW. four corners. Lash the cane. When you get it right, doesn't take any risks, goes right around the sausage head and through the final corner to set a 116.6, only six tenths off of his Q1 time. Obviously, we don't think they were pushing Q1. 
I do believe that is a very good laugh on the medium. I think uh, 16 3, maybe. But most drivers seem to be sitting in the pit waiting till. Uh, waiting till the track. Last five. Yeah. Never mind, but there is a Mercedes out there, Primus Gaming. A bit wide from turn two, going through turn three now. A bit too wide. He had to kind of adjust his steering mid corner. Very nice through turn four. A better line through there. And Jessie Rita rejoins the rejoins the, the lobby. That's great for her. Coming through, touched a bit of the curb into turn five. Really weird exit. I don't like really trying to strip into to commentate because I actually know where the car's going because it's so twitchy. But Going through turn 8 now, it has a lift mid corner through turn 8, so clearly there's, it doesn't feel that that car's extre extremely stable. Breaking a, a bit late going into the, to the hairpin. Has the lift going, trying to go across that curb because he doesn't want to spin the car. I get a bit of anxiety there as well. Going through the final part of the corner into the chicane now. Can he go wide? Nice entry. That chicane was actually quite good. Um, that was a really good chicane. Um, going for his final corner. It's the line. And it's a 17 0. So he's four tenths away. In my race, I've done three laps in the mediums and qualifying just to secure myself. And he still felt quite good for the 13 laps. So. You can uh, do a couple laps on and they still feel quite good and not the best yeah. of much really the softs but so the yellow them flag in button. sector three the yellow flag in sector one external cornish on his mediums has spun at the exit of turn two hopefully he doesn't no get damage. in the way of drivers he is clear as i can see so that's not a good start for cornish Meanwhile, we do have Mason Dunks that's also on a lap. We have Scotsman who's on another lap. We will go for Mason Dunks because he is the closest to the finish line. Mason Dunks going through the final chicane. Can he do anything here? Really nice and gentle. Very nice and coordinated going through the final corner now. Gets a little bit of a tighter, a tighter line, doesn't use all of the, all of the track. Exit 16 wide. Behind that though, Chris 12 LFC, the 116.4. Barry 15.8. <laughs> Call mission RP washed. <laughs> Drowning in mud. It's the. It's the. Okay, so. F <laughs> that is a big leap. Barry with a 11588. Alfa Romeo. To the end. This is the second time that Alfa Romeo has suddenly brought on the pace. Did in Division 2 earlier this in the on Sunday. It's a good race, both Alphas led the race for the majority of the Both second Alphas half. had extremely yeah. good pace, especially Wedgie, who was the new guy. His debut, leading the race very comfortably. Jesse Racer using all that curb in the eggs at pushing in towards the chicane. Going fast into the final chicane now. God, it's really very smooth through there, as Jesse Racer. Lovely. On the throttle. Seventh place. Just behind Edson, mate. RSF1. Cornish. Coming to the lane. Launches that coming to the line. What can he do? He goes yep. fastest for the 157. Cornish saying to Barry, look, Alpha and Mayo have had their time already. It's, it's racing points turn. We have seen numerous races so far, the racing points up top. In the final corner, Vinny, 
He's in a set of lap time. Where does he go? He goes fifth with a 116.3. Sorry to interrupt you. It's all good. Charismic coming round the last. McLaren go. 16.5. Charismic, one of the new guys. Not new, he's a returning driver. Returning driver. Primus certainly putting quite a lot of laps on those tiles. Set one. Four okay, laps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Set one. It's gone now though. Someone I want to see on that lap is Arco Saint, so we're going to see what he can do. Sometimes he can pull them out. Pull them out of his. <clears throat> he can put them out of his behind at the very last second. So let's see what he can bring to the table for Racing Point this week. His teammate uh, crashed out in the last, um, the last qualifying session in the Netherlands, so he has to do it all in his I think he only managed to get fifth, didn't he? Okay, Saint. Yeah, I do believe so. So, racing point looking very pointy. <laughs> um, just breaking just before the hundred meter board there, nice and tight on the. Uh, on the hairpin, going around the two corners. Oh, you can see, you can see that there. That's what happens when the car tries to slide out of that corner. It does take you a bit away from the apex. Go through the final chicane. Can we make it nice and tidy? Getting a little bit out of shape because of the traction. But nonetheless, coming towards the line, what can he do? Only six with a, with a 116.4. Nowhere near his teammate, apparently, his teammate. All the way to 15-7. Yes, we do have RSF and Bun, who, surprisingly, you know, Ferrari haven't had the best track record at the moment this season, and they're, they're currently in fourth. Well, one of the drivers is in fourth. Last time they're out in Q1. Button uh, set his lap on the softs. So. I'm going to see if he can get faster with his mediums. Whose lap was on the... what? Button. His uh, first lap was in the softs. Oh dear. <laughs> well, I don't know where the pace is then. Maybe it's not as cemented as we thought. But, nonetheless, can a Ferrari make something out of this? We do have Alco Saints coming through the final two corners. I'm pretty sure he's going to pit. No, he isn't. Alco Saints is going to cross the line. He has. And Alco Saints invalidated that lap. What was it then? A 19 something. Right. Let's go for another lap though. P4. P4 for Craig Sinner. Oh! Jesse Racer's retired, she's retired in the pit lane, she has. So Jesse Racer out of quali, of qualifying two. She did not get through to qualifying three, she just did, I don't think she... Rogue. Had time to come back out again. Granny Vinny is also retired, so he believes that he is safe. For the time being. Toxic MW, someone that's, that he claims that he was going to be on pole. I think he's going to be out. Yes, he is, he's got an invalidated lap time. The man that said he was going to be on pole in the, in the chat is, um, is currently sat in P12. Scotsman's crashed. Scotsman's crashed at the exit of turn four. We saw Ooh. earlier on in the session in, in Q1 and Q2 that he's been really pushing the limits. For the grass on the, on the outside but of the track, maybe we just took a bit too much that time. We also do have Nelson Dunks, who's got the invalidated at that time, so he will not go any further in this qualifying. Mason Bergson is 15th. Chris is third. Starting outside the top 10, worked for quite a lot of drivers during the week with the fresher tiles. His button. Know. This is pretty much it. The only person left, left to come across the line is TYG Rowe, who has done really well. 
Alfa Romeo 2 4 at the moment in Q2. But can they do this where it matters in Q3? We've seen that Cornish has the pace clearly. Alco, I'm just making this. Those primers only made it by about two hundredths of a second from Charismic. Look at the, the two Renaults, though. Opt. Once again, the two Renaults not having the greatest qualifying. But Ferrari, they're into Q3. Button on the soft so. Yeah, but at least on the soft. But, you know, I think Ferrari will be looking at the positives here rather than the negatives of tyre wear. I think they'll be looking at, you know, <laughs> we've got a car into Q3, which is something that I don't think we've said about Ferrari this whole season till now, until the fifth round in. Well, with sixth round Toxic in, MW and Scotsman in the fifth out, round. Cornish might find it a little bit easier. It was last week that Cornish and Scotsman were out and MW took the pole this week. MW and Scotsman are out, so Cornish will take the pole this week. <laughs> Your drivers out in Q2 though, Mason, Dunks, JC Racer, RSF and Scotsman, Toxic, MW and Charismic. Can I just thank Benz for trying to cheer up Toxic in the chat, please? <laughs> trying to cheer him up. Positivity's um, key. He's just trying to cheer up Toxic and W in the chat for getting out. And quite a lot of these drivers up in the top 10 starting in three... Two, uh, two free lap old thingies. So, so the only car the in the top 10 on softs is the Ferrari and Button. So that's going to be something to see how quickly the car will drop when the tyres go off. We'll just have to wait and see what will happen. For that kind of race, as we do have the top 10 here now with Craig Senna, Grady Vinny, Primus Gaming. Arco Saint, Cyrus F1 Button, DYG Rogue, Barry23, Chris12 LFC, Jamie24, and XRL Cornish. It looks like Cornish wants to get the jump on the rest of the, the grid. I'm trying to get out there first, but he's not going to get out before the Williams as he's in the last part of the pit lane. He's in the last garage of the pit lane. So he gets out first. And it's Cornish. And I believe it is TYG Rogue, France Gaming following right behind him. With the two Red Bulls coming out simultaneously. Craig Senna just had a graded Vinny. Alco Saints coming out after that as well. That's the Ferrari of RSF1 Button now makes his appearance. I think it's the first time Ferrari have been in Q3 this entire season so far so hopefully they want to get a good starting position let's see what the ferrari can do in q3 can he deliver barry is waiting i think so is chris they do not come out in these first 12 minutes of qualifying would you like to do an on board with jamie let's go for it so go down into the final corner to start the lap. They got a little bit loose coming out of the final corner. But anyway, he will carry on and try his best going down towards turn one. Quite wide on the, on the entry, that's where you really, really, really want to be. Don't want to it too much though. A little bit square coming over the curb. And through turn three, a bit wide on the exit there, but that's, that's, you know, that's not a bad line to take those. Probably got the mostly private actually with it in real life. Getting quite wide the exit of turn four though, had to drop off a loose bit of speed. Going through turn five on the exit, doesn't want to go too wide, it's running bad day. I get anxiety there as well. Uh, going through turn six and seven goes really wide though and invalidates on the entry on the exit of seven and just didn't like it. Hop back on the corner still just behind. Cornish just behind him. He'll finish the lap for us as he goes in. The hairpin just for the 100 meter board right close to the apex. Actually rides the apex beautifully, but I think gets a little bit of oversteering that came up the corner. Now going through towards the final three, four corners 
going into the chicane, kind of get it nice and tidy. It's a little bit on the curve, it doesn't scrub off too much speed coming through the final corner. It doesn't use all the all the uh, track to the left of him. But still, there's a 1.15.1 as the time to chase. Now, who can compete with that? 159 from the Mercedes of Primus Gaming, not a great start for him, not about eight tenths away. Craig Senna, he's seven tenths away, but with Brady Vinny, he said no, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a little bit closer. Three ten, we'll be three tenths off, you know, we'll, we'll take that. We'll start. Alco Saints, he will go third, just behind Grady Vinny. So Red Bull versus <laughs> Red Bull versus racing point at the moment in the top four. Can and button change it? And button nope. change anything here? No, only a one sixteen one. TYG Rogue and Barry both on laps. Can the Alpha Home show the speed that they've had in Q2? Can they use it to their advantage here? Oh, right on the curb there. I think that's TYG Rogue's already actually invalidated. Going around. Right behind him is Barry. Barry getting a little bit. Oh, bit of a lock up there. Into the final two, three corners. Goes really wide though. Gets, has a shot of quite a lot of speed to this Barry had a really bad exit but still goes P3 with a 115 5 so I think Barry could have been in the 115 1s or the 115 2s for that scrub off of speed at the last part of the chicane I think really hampered him quite badly so I think after a minute I want to look out for Chris on the Haas, he's coming through the line just now. Chris, across the line. T6. 59. It's a little bit more from Chris, I think the I think the Haas uh, driver really does have some pace around here at the moment. You can show it towards the, the last run that he will do. At some point during this qualifying as TRT Road comes back into the pits as he did not, was not able to set a valid time. Jamie is on an out lap currently. Harry is on his in lap. Good camera perspectives from Teal. There yeah, go. there's not very many good camera perspectives at the moment. The like final corner to start his lap is Jamie 24. So, Jamie24 down into town one, what can he do once again, going wide, nice entry into the corner, takes quite a bit of curve there, but that's okay, it doesn't matter too much, going round through turn three, much closer to the to the inside line, can, oh nice turn four, I've only got a purple sector one there, according to this, is Jamie on a good lap here? Going around, it's a little bit wider like than the exit. It looks a bit better, it's a little bit more, uh, a little bit more tidy here from Jamie so far. Nice and tidy there through six and seven. Going through eight now, doesn't want to lose the car a little bit. You can see it's sliding just a bit, but he manages to control it. Breaking just for 100 meter board. Can he get a nice exit out of here? Oh, there's a little bit slidey, trying to put the power on a bit too early. Going around. One of there, nice. Just want to touch that it's sausage curve just actually makes it perfect. There, all oh, gets a little bit too eager and just ruins the lap there. It's so easy to to ruin the lap there. The final chicane, if you take too much care, it just really upsets the car and you have to get it right. Indeed. Top three predictions. Let's have them. You want, me, you want my predictions? Yep, top three. Um, um, let's qualify. Well, I'm thinking it's going to go Barry Cornish and Vinny. Yeah, I'm going to go crap. Uh, you know, Barry Cornish and Vinny. I think that's my top three. I think Barry's just going to. Pull, pull something like a four, maybe a fourteen-nine out of somewhere. Primus Gaming was just invalidated his lap, so he's got to set that on. Or SF1 Button's about to start his lap. Can he do something? 
more convenient into the, and try and get himself into the top five, maybe. Why Rogue? He's currently on a lap, actually. Going for the final couple of corners. Now just want to hit the curb. He hits the curb and invalidates at the same time. Not a nice way for the Alfa Romeo to spend his time. And he's hit the wall in the pit lane, and has been reset by the game, not him. And has got now got damage to his car as well for his trouble. It's not a great start. Not a great end to his qualifying session, but I'm sure that he'll be able to get back out on the track for one last attempt. It's Cornish Pitts once again. He's come back into the pit lane. Grady Vinny's like that. Uh, currently going through turn eight. Nice exit there. Fourth hundred meter board. Nice to turn nine. Going through to turn ten and eleven. I don't want to take too much care through turn 10, but for 11, he's fine at the moment. He's not going to scrum off too much speed, though, coming through into turn 12, 13, 14. Other chicane coming out into 15, the final corner. Takes up a lot of the uh, crack. Can he go quicker? Yes, he can. But still not enough to topple the racing points charge to pole position and provisional pole still remains with the racing point man I'm gonna take Barry. I'm gonna say Jamie for pole Jamie for pole <laughs> Jamie first Cornish second and that's something to think about as we've got Barry going through turn eight he seems to keep finding them all on turn eight at the moment as he goes through into turn nine into purple sector for Barry. Is this a pole position lap from Barry? Nice and tidy through turn twelve. Through, through, through turn twelve, <laughs> turn thirteen and fourteen here for the chicane. Nice and tidy this time. Didn't get any kind of uh, interruption through the corner. Comes across the line. What's it going to be? It's going to be. 15 2, so it's not enough. Topple Cornish for the moment, but Cornish is also on a loud lap, so could he improve and go even further and secure that pole position? But Barry, I think that's his last attempt now. You don't think he's got anything else in the bag, do you? I don't think he does. You never know. He's got time to go around and do one more lap, but he also has that red fuel symbol, which would mean he's not got much fuel. Maybe Senna. He's on a lap, currently, living behind XRL. Uh, Alco Saint. Alco Saint is actually invalidated on his out lap. I think he's just trying to test the track limits. Got Primus, who's on a lap, going through turn four. The exit of turn four, still really twitchy with him. I don't understand what's going on there. But anyway, back to Craigie Senna. Sorry for messing me about a little bit. Craigie Senna goes into the pit lane. He's had enough, so it is back with Primus because he's the only one that's close enough to finishing a lap, I believe. As Barry does go into the pit lane, so Barry has said, no, that's enough for me. As Alco sets, he's done another on the lap as well. We've got Primus Gaming coming through turn third, uh, 12, uh, 12 right now. Hits the curb a bit too much there for his liking. I don't think he'll like that too much. Going through the final chicane, it's really twitchy on the exit, but still through the final corner, just twitching the car around. It's only sixth position for the Mercedes. 1.15.9. As we also have Chris, who's just done a penny of the fastest middle sector, even as the final chicane. But he went in turn 12, he got a little bit too close to the slush, and um, just kind of put his car off balance a little bit. That's still fine, going through the final corner. What can he do? Goes to four for the 115.3, that pushes Primus back down to eight. The P4 TRG Rogue has actually managed to beat Primus' time. Now, all that's left is Jamie, 24. What can he do? He's been showing the pace, but he just can't seem to get the lap completed. It's not a purple sector from a Williams driver. 
what can he do now? He just needs to complete a lap. I think he could be in the top five if he just completes a lap. Going really nice and wide. Doesn't go too wide though to invalidate. Nice corner there. Can he get the chicane right this time? Yes, he can. Doesn't want to get too squirmish on the exit. Goes really nice and tight. If the final quarter takes all takes up all the road. Is that a pole? That is pole you. for Jamie. Pole for Jamie. Twenty-four. Sure, when am I from the sector in the middle sector, but it was good enough. A 148 as well. That's a blinding lap time in this division. That's something I did not expect. <laughs> he said that's for you, Toxic. I don't see we done that top and Yeah, to be himself. fair, prove me wrong. I genuinely thought it was gonna be Barry who was gonna pull something out of the bag there, but wow. What a, a lap from Jamie, 24, to secure pole position. The Williams looking very fast, but it looks at the moment you can be fast, but he needs to be consistent. Oh, he's <laughs> never race. doing that again. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Jamie, 24, so he's never doing that again. I'd keep your head high. Really You've got a whole race now to do that. Looking at the sky, nice clear skies, no signs of rain any time today. Hugs Kim W still not very happy about. Oh, Jamie twenty four's been dashboarded. <laughs> yeah, Jamie twenty four has been dashboarded. He's actually not on the grid. What it says here, so you might have to restart. <laughs> Karma, oh, there we wait. While we wait, I'll have a run through of the current standings. I haven't got to that point yet, but we can now. Bang, bang, bang. Go for drivers. Currently first place, Toxic MW with 10 points. Primus Gaming sitting in second. Alco Saints in third. Grady Vinny fourth. RSF on Scotsman in fifth. Unseen in sixth. RSF on Button in seventh. Say first with 10 points. Uh, by 10 points. With, with 10 points, I was like, why don't I like this championship? Hmm. Uh, XRL Cornish sitting in 7th, Jesse Racer in 8th, Old Man's in 9th, Craigie Senna 10th, Jamie just outside in 11th, Mason Dunks in 12th, Yuki Demons 13th, Barry 14th, Fish Sticks in 15th, TYG Rogans uh, 17th, Chris 18th, and that's it. Got a vacancy. Sick. All instructors though. <laughs> McLaren, I uh, just patched that. Constructors of McLaren currently leads Mercedes behind Racing Point in third, for uh, fourth for Haas, fifth for Renault, Williams in sixth, Red Bull in seventh, Ferrari in eighth, Alfa Tauri in ninth, and Alfa Romeo in tenth. I think might have to start for Jamie. What are they going to do? If one person disconnects, it's uh, usually just the continue, but it's a mass disconnection. Four or five, we. The yeah, lobby gets surely... reset. I mean, that's, that's... It's the pole man. <laughs> surely. It's just the way it goes. It's just. That happens. Welcome to F1. The most bugs ever. And I'm sure when EA take it over completely, it'll be even worse. Anyway, you say that, I'm pretty sure EA are pretty good at fighting for the big enough fund. Have you ever played FIFA? i played FIFA. Like... Yeah. Servers aren't terrible, everything's terrible in FIFA. 
Would you like to take us through from the back? Sorry, I was doing it at school. Um, so, at the back of the book, we have fish sticks. With old Manzi out in Q1. Only two rounds down in Q1. Mason Dunn's got only good qualifying down in 15, 40 just ahead of him, 14, as Jesse Ray said. Two Renault's outside the top 10, 13th for our F1 Scotsman. 12th is Toxic NW, the man who said, poll for Toxic in the chat, by the way, he also highlighted that, so he meant it. Just outside the top 10 by 200 of a second is the McLaren of Bike Rusmic. RSF1 button in 10th, first time for I think he's got into 10 this season, hopefully he can make it. Bash done now. 9th is Primus Gaming, 8th is GYG Road, 7th is Crazy Center. Only Hatton inside the top 10, 6th is Chris 12 LFC. Alco Saints in 5th once again, just like in the Netherlands. Reggie Vinny in 4th. Barry in 3rd. XRL Cornish in 2nd. The man on pole. He did a lap that obliterated the others. The only man in the 14s in Division 4. Jamie 24 winds up on pole position. Fingers crossed, toes crossed, everything's crossed. I don't want a restart. I don't want it to happen. That's why the parks up, the lights go out, and we get underway. That's all we need to see. Last car's just lined up. Can I get a good view, please? Come on, just show me a light. Oh no. <laughs> there we go. One yes. light, two it's light, three light, time. four light, five lights. Lights out and away we go, Jamie looking at a good start, Connors looks like he even got a better one, nope, better Jamie's miles away. Jamie. Brilliant start from Jamie. Connors maintaining really good. position. Connors getting a little bit out of shape there. Oh, one of the Red Bulls, I think already Vinny getting really out of shape there. Some of the school a bit of contact at the back regarding some of the, oh, Charismics all the way at the back of the group with damage. From 11th down to 17th in only three corners. Both the Alfa Romeo is also down towards the back of the grid. What happened to Barry at the start? He's down in like, 12th. Toxic oh. NW up five positions. Quite a good start from him. Yeah, Toxic NW already up into the top 10 on very great start from the Hash Driver. Hector Rockhorn already has a penalty on lap one, ignoring blue flags. I don't know about that one. We got a flag in set two apparently. Second bot four as Jamie still leads this race after the first lap. Extra row Cornish, on the other hand, is in second place but somehow has a penalty for ignoring a flag that shouldn't really exist. And then we're coming out of the final corner. Look at Extra row Cornish, got an amazing edit versus Jamie already alongside. Coming down towards turn one. Is he ahead? No, they're still side by side. Has the inside line though. Can the racing point take it to the, to the William? Yes, he can. A little bit of barging though from the racing point, but I don't know how far that was going to be. I'm pretty sure. Is he going to flag? Is that Jesse Mason who's retired? Rogue has retired in the pit. It's my Bro dread currently on my stop. On lap yep. one. I want to say that was the best option if I'm honest. I wouldn't have given up that easily. Yeah, a safety car can happen quite easily around here. I'm just waiting for the grid to be sorted out and hopefully. Anyway, the so thing that we're back to the fight is. at the front. Cornish now leads the way from Jamie. Jamie can still stay within. Well, currently, you can stay within five seconds. I don't know if that penalty will get removed though. Due to it being a faulty pen, I don't know if he, if he, if if he, he records it, it won't. 
Yeah, that's the thing that I should even have to serve up. it. So if he does serve it, it doesn't get the move, but that's how it works. Crazy Senna getting all out of shape, coming out through the final corner. Alco Sainz is now right on the back of him. The, the racing point, it guesses the Red Bull, going down towards turn one. Alco Sainz is all over the back, now coming out, having a little look at turn one, but the Red Bull Clark but puts his car in the right position. Really stuck there, trying to say that word. Anyway, Jamie gets a three second time penalty. Nice one. Um, <laughs> Gravely in third, just minding his own business, taking a little bit of a cap from his teammate. He's trying to uh, try to carry on, just trying to make sure that Red Bull stay in a solid position. Alco Saints, after being after attacking, has now got RSF on button right behind him. Button actually has gone up four, I think it's four positions. He started tenth, now he's sixth. Button really needs to be pushing as hard as he possibly can. He needs to gain so many places and then just hold them up as much as he can when he's tired of trying I just don't know how he'll do. I mean, with these softs, it can be quite tough to keep them to your wheels terrible. Fox came W up from PA 12, 13, am I right in saying? With a quite a big game in the first couple laps. Toxic MW. Toxic MW did start to off now. He's seventh. So he is right behind the back of our stuff on button while Alku Saints is all over the back once again of the Red Bull putting up quite a, a bit earlier. Oh they're, they're making contact through turn in towards turn one. They've got a little bit I heard some wheel back in there between the racing point and the Red Bull. The racing point getting their elbows out early doors here. Both the racing points are. And uh managed to make it through. But it seems to be that the racing points Bad, bad, but it is fair. It's on the edge. Meanwhile, Chris, finally, Chris, 12 LFC, he's down in 10th. Um, he's like 4th. So not a great start for the Hass driver. Barry also. One Hass one has down, yeah. one Hass up. Yeah, it seems to be that people are having some nightmarish starts at the moment. Well, actually, it makes his day even worse now that I've talked about him. Coming day is cursed, now he's got a three second time penalty along with the bad start. Oh, Toxic getting really close to Button there, all over the back of him. Bit of wobble in the exit. All, toxic all over the back of Aristif and Button. Tired, surely the tyres aren't going off ready, are they? And another three second time penalty for Jamie. Jamie's now got six seconds of penalties already. And he's got Grady Green uh, hunting him down. Is this the part where maybe the the Williams were running a bit more of a qualifying setup and the other drivers around him were running more racy setup so they'll be able to kind of push the limits of the car a little bit more without the worry of, of losing the car. And also bring to your attention that Cornish is two point seven seconds ahead. Chris tries to go down the inside of Primus Gaming, sorry for not, I'm, I am acknowledging you, I'm just very uh, looked up on this battle between the Haas and the Mercedes. The Mercedes gets them all out of shape as Corus does get actually his first official penalty. Along with Scotsman. Along, yeah, along with Scotsman as well, so a lot of drivers, as I said, through 6 and 7 are getting really caught out. Ooh, oh, he's going to be a crash man. back, a massive crash between Chris and Barry. Barry is out of the race, so both Alfa Romeo's not scoring points. It is a full course safety car, and Chris got caught up in that as well. So Hast and both the Alfa Romeo's are out of this race. Three yeah, well, Ferrari powered cars are out of this race already. Jamie not going in when you stay through penalty speeding underneath the safety car. This is not going well for Chris Mick at all. Not a great start for him. Manzi pits. Most drivers opting to stay out, button in, in the soft. Cornish, sauce. Jamie, Vinny, Alco, Craig stay out. Toxic stays out. Scott's also stays you... out. But Conveniently, well, that answered, this helps Bun. Did you catch it? This, this really helps Bun in terms of him being able to pick off those softs and just go for something different now. What can he do? He's gone to mediums. So the Ferrari has switched to the medium tyre. Now he'll be able to take those for a little bit of time, but he will have to pick again. So, we, so the Ferrari committing to a two stop. 
So is he going to go soft medium? medium? Is he going to go soft medium soft? Do you think? I don't think soft would last. Uh, we, mediums, let's just say 13, 14 laps from there, we lap 20. So he might roughly. I think he might have to do a soft medium medium. I think double medium sounds the safest way. Apparently not a bad strategy from him. If he can make his way up through the field, then should be alright. So we've already caught up to the back of the safety car. Cornish now leads the race once to get a steal from Jamie in second place. Very hectic start there. A lot of drivers losing a lot of positions. Only the top five kind of lost a few people. Jamie saying it's with the FPS glitch. No, oh, is that the one where it has a pretty bad get yes frame? It's not very nice. Yep. Had that before. That's probably joy in the stage catch. Yeah. Oh, I would if you if you really can't handle it, I'd say just dashboard and see the time. As Jamie goes into the pit lane. He pits underneath the safety car, but obviously everyone is around him now. So the element of surprise or the element of, you know, not losing too many positions underneath the safety car is he's kind of dissipated. So 11th is Jamie, 24, as he comes out. What tyre has he gone on to? I think that's another set of mediums. This is for the Williams car. Xero Cornish still leads the way um, on his lap one. The tyres that he's been on from lap since lap one. With Grady Billy up into second place, Alco Saints in third. So, 1 3. Oh dear. Jamie's AI has just pitted him. That's why I don't put on the safety car, because the AI does stupid things for you. The AI decided that Jamie needs to pit and go on to another set of, uh, of mediums. So, Jamie's got his workout for him. Safety car in this lap. Oh, please don't retire your car, Jamie. Please continue. I don't want to um, I don't want to see you retire like that. It's still a long way to can happen, interest. another safety car can come out, and can happen, it's F1. Anyway, back to the front of the grid for the restart. When is Cornish going to go? Is he going to go on the wait exit he's out. here, or is he going to wait? He's gone. Cornish has gone, and he's caught Greg and Vinny absolutely napping. For an eternity there, what a exit that Cornish got out of the final corner, already 1.1 seconds away from the record behind him. Alco Saints now has the ability to stay with the DRS once the DRS gets enabled once again. If Grady Vinny can't get that DRS on Cornish, then the Red Bull is on be with in famous. Time is looking to go past Fish Sticks around the outside of turn four. Oh, look at Primus trying to go around the outside of turn four. I think they're going really slow through there, though. As we've got Jamie trying to get all up in the mix as well. Fish Sticks getting all out of shape, letting Primus through. Now Jamie's trying to cut find his way through. Going around, Jamie making it past. Oh, contact oh, Primus. Primus. Primus has gone around, so is Jamie. Jamie's off the track. Contact between the Mercedes and the Williams, it looked like a bit of a calamity. And the Williams has gone around once again, I think, in frustration. And the Mercedes trundles back to the pit lane. Will he pit? I don't think it's got damage to the Mercedes, I don't think he actually can So, can he just continue? That Williams definitely has major opportunity damage. And he's going to come into the pit lane, hopefully not to retire. Okay, this looks like a retirement to me. Okay. 
Well, if you got your bed, sleep tight, Julie. Don't think about it. Come back strong at morning. <laughs> Come to bed, sleep tight. Um. Yeah. Okay. So unfortunately, we lost Jamie. Drivers. Uh, not on the greatest day. We also lost Jesse Racer in that as well. She's retired. So we've actually lost. We've only got eleven runners left in this Grand Prix. Last week we did end up with ten, so yeah, but that was down to actual new crashing, not no, just retirements. There was a few crashes in this race as well, so it did crash out unlucky for them. But anyway, continue with Cordish now two point five seconds away from Grade and Vinny. Grade and Vinny also under pressure from the other racing point of Arco Saints. He is also under pressure from the likes of Toxic MW. RSF wants Totsman rise the background there as well. He's now in the hunt. Imagine that from 13th on the grid now up to 5th. 12th to 13th, now 4th and 5th respectively. Well done to them. Old Mansi up into 6th. Well done from him all the way down from I think 17th. No, sorry, 16th position is where he started. I'm doing this, old Mansi. Old Mansi, amazing mate. job of just keeping out of the walls and just. Trying to keep his head. RSF from Button, he's now in seventh place. He's also the top ten for Ferrari. Amazing dunks with 50 up until eight. Really good for him so far. Craig he set that down when he started. He started seven, now he's ninth. Prime Scaly in tenth at the moment with fish sticks running out the entire grid. We're in eleventh place and many man not to score points so far in this race. Alco Saints getting a lot of shape just there, Toxic having a little look, oh, Alco pulls it straight back Al off. Alco I think got really wide there didn't he? Through uh, where we turn uh, 11, we turn 11, now going through uh, turn 15 in the final corner, he's going to be absolutely under pressure from that race, that uh, hat, and he's actually not got a DRS either, so the hat has a major advantage coming down the straight. Can he make a count though? When it matters, going right past before the braking zone, there's the Haas car, and now he's up to the third position, podium position, and 12th position on the grid. Alco oh, okay, Saints now goes out wide, wants to get something is going on with that racing point. It doesn't seem very comfortable at all for Alco Saints. Our tyres just absolutely going off, falling off the cliff now for the racing point. We wouldn't expect it until about lap 13 that the tyres would actually start to be upset but it could be that maybe he's yep. put too much pressure on them in the early lap stages. Lap 13 the usual pit window around here. And then you go to the end on the... RSF on button has got past old Mansi by the way. It's a sixth place now is the Ferrari. Down to seventh is the Mercedes. The only Mercedes Hasn't had an incident yet, I believe so. Mason Dunks in 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th, still in the same positions that they were. Really thin on the other hand, there's not much to get a gap from Toxic. Toxic's now got to try and close that gap down, but there's an after state who's going to try and do a recovery, try and regain that place that he lost. Can he get close enough? I don't think he can. He's going have a little look, but not close enough. To the charge. RSF1 Scott's just sitting in the background. He's lurking. He wants to know where the weaknesses are for that rating point. And just trying to find a way to exploit them. As we do have a yellow flag, and I think it's for fish sticks in the final sector. Yes, it is. Fish sticks has spun around. Oh, the old Cornish has uh, quite, quite a lot of penalties on these. Cornish Cornish got Cornish got eight settings. Cornish currently has eight seconds worth of penalties. Obviously, the five second that he will serve in his pit stop, and he has the three seconds added on for multiple warnings of corner cutting. Craig Senna, speaking of corner cutting and traffic surgeon, gets a three second time penalty for those multiple warnings. As we also have Primus Gaming down oh, about one people. Um, Toxic MW now within, well, just, well, was just within a second 
of the car ahead of him, which is Gravy. So it's Gravy starting to lose a bit of pace there. Um, 3.4 seconds is the gap from first to second. Polish has kind of just walked away with us a little bit ever since Jamie had to pit um, due to his AI. Alcohol Saints is just fun. Oh, Alcohol Saints has hit the wall hard. He is not out though. Is that no? Wait, no, what? Never Wait. mind. He has had a massive lag spike and is now back on the track. He's had another lag spike and now he's eighth. This can't um, be healthy. This is very unhealthy. You might need. You might need to retire if this continues because that is very dangerous. For both parties. Um, I'll just watch Craigie's that Yeah, you might need to give him a message just asking to retire. It's just not safe for anybody around him. He is now in ninth, now he's in tenth. Yeah, maybe a new message. Yeah, I think. Ooh. I don't know. But we have got Cornish in the pits. The first driver of pit. Uh, Hards obviously. Serving that penalty which will hold him up quite a bit. Grady Vinny currently leading with Toxic NW 7 tenths behind. Scotsman 2.5 seconds just behind that. You see what he you. says as Alco Saints. He's going to come out behind, he's still behind his teammate. So all Cornish. Cornish coming out on the hard tyres and he's planning to go to the end now. One stop for Cornish. Is the uncut going to work against Crazy Vinny and Toxic? Or can they do something about it? I think he had a big enough gap though with Cornish. To kind of worry this kind of pace. Cornish had about four seconds. Which will there's, there's a, a car yellow off. in sector two. I think that's from one of the Red Bulls. Yes, it is. It is from Craigie Senna. We have spun rounds at turn six and seven. Usually it's on the exit of seven. As Prime is now trying to go around the outside, Kelly go around the outside of the Red Bull. The Red Bull gets really out of shape. And the Mercedes managed to do kind of like a switch back and a move on the. Red Bull, Red Bull really struggling now, doesn't look very comfortable after that spin. I think it would be anyway. But, next to Cornish, now stuck behind them. Gave a little bit twitch to come out the final corner to Cornish, but he needs to get past the people ahead of him. Alco Saints, I think, is going to do. Is he pitting or is he retiring? I think he's pitting. I don't think he's retiring. Toxic NW stayed out along with Button. Okay, so Alco Saints had a five second penalty as well. He served that. Alco Saints has pit. So Alco Saints is continuing on. It looks like the internet has stayed. Uh, Stabilise itself. Hopefully, you can continue without any more issues. Toxic MW now at the moment makes this race actually he is pitting right as I say that. RSF1 button is he going to pit yet? No, he doesn't need to. He does need to pit out of six. He can carry on. Ferrari now leading three. Ferrari are leading the Spanish Grand Prix at the moment. And will MW come out in front of this train? MW Roughly about Grady's Vinny. is able to come out in front of Cornish. This is actually going to be very close, you know. Cornish pits again! MW out in front of Vinny. Cornish pits! Very damage. strange. That's damage. A yep. new win for the, the racing point. Yeah, but Toxic MW did just come out in front of Grady Vinny. Well, that's something so to so Toxic to MW now the, the, the leader of this race. The Haas from, from 12 on the grid now leads, effectively leads, the Spanish Grand Prix. 
That's a great bad missus. You also have Grady V in second place, third place. The third place is Craigie Senna. Wait, I'm sure speaking. Could be Scott. Uh, with penalties, uh, if we check that, technically Scotsman. Alco okay, Saints ahead of his teammate, XRL Cornish. Both the racing points have had a major, a major incident. Of their, uh, both made, Red Bulls. Yeah, major incidents of their own. Both Red Bulls having a decent race so far. Yeah, Red Bull are doing well, I think. Getting into a bit of the wars a little bit though, with cars early on, not in their own fault, or anything. The wars that they maybe made didn't want to get involved in. Toxic MW. Toxic MW looks like he has the pace at the moment to take his car to the end. The relatives looks very comfortable in that house. Looks like he might be able to uh, just pull off a cheeky win. Scotsman on Craigie Senna, but looks of it, he's going to go for the move up the inside. Scotsman on Craigie Senna goes at the inside of Craigie Senna, but still Craigie Senna manages to do a switch back. Yes, he gets a three second time penalty for his troubles for trying to make a move like that. Too audacious there, I think, from Scotsman. But. Put Scotsman on six, so Craigie Senna and Scotsman both won the same amount of penalties right now. The same amount of penalties now. So this is a dog fight. This is a proper dog fight for who can claim. A sixth place and Scotsman gets an absolutely thunderous exit coming out of the final corner of turn 15 down the straight into turn one there was no way the Red Bull was fighting that both on relatively low ERS both at the 10% can the Red Most Bull come back though? 10. Scotsman Cross covers the inside with the Red Bull trying to look for a way through Scotsman gets a little bit out of shape coming through turn 4 into turn 5. Can the Red Bull look at the inside? No. He has decided that that's not going to be the place he wants to try and overtake as Cornish does the 118.252. That's his fastest lap of the race. And, and he's saying that on the older tyres, so just keep up with Scotsman. Oh, again, a little bit wide coming out of the corner there, but can he look at the inside? He's going to try and do what Scotsman did, but no, he is not. Craig Senna. Being very intelligent about the way that he's driving his car at the moment. But with any meanwhile, we're going to get back into the DRS of the car ahead of him. Argo okay, Saints gets another penalty for his troubles. Not a great day for racing at the moment. Can they improve throughout the rest of this race? We shall see. Craig Senna going through the final corner. Can he? He's still in the DRS, but it's quite far away. I think his car is starting to drop off now. As Scotsman did an absolutely amazing overtake due to the final corner that it got compared to the Red Bull button in front of him. That was in front of him anyway. Cornish gets another penalty. Racing Point is racking up the penalties. It's not, it's not the points that they particularly want. Um, got a fish sticks. Still in 11th place. Anyway, but RSF4 Button still leading the race, so they would like this AJ team manager in Division 5, team manager of Ferrari, team principal. He will be enjoying seeing his Ferrari in the, in the, at the front, of the, uh, front of the pack, but now it's time to see that Ferrari go back towards the midfield. And we will restore order as old Manzi also pits as well. Mercedes into the pit lane coming around the final corner. Here's Toxic. Toxic has a 1.4 second gap to Graded Vinny. Graded Vinny under pressure from Primus Gaming. Can Primus Gaming do something about this now? Can he get involved? He did this before in the Netherlands. He gets involved in fights that you don't expect. Through the last sector is that Fish Sticks once again. That's actually Cornish. Cornish has made a mistake going through turn 11 into turn 12. 
So, racing point, having my awful day. Is that the pit lane for Arturo Cornish? No, he carries on. Good for him. Very tough to see. Not good determination to keep going. Toxic MW leads this race 1.4 seconds to Grady Vinny, Grady Vinny. I know humongous amounts of pressure in Farmers Gaming at the moment. Primus looking for his second podium in a row. I believe he's Toxic and Primus were both in the podium last week. Yeah, they were. Toxic. Not too sure about Toxic came Vinny. Second. Primus. Toxic. Primus will still have to. Did Toxic come second? Did he win? He won last week. Uh, second. One. I don't know, someone, uh, it was, I think it was one of the Clarins that was really fast last week. Oh, uh, Caesar. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. I was trying to remember his name earlier, but because he's not on my list anymore, Caesar do believe moved up to Division 2. But Caesar? Yep, Div 2. It's good that you know. <laughs> God. Anyway. Mason and Omanzi both side by side, Omanzi comes out on top. Omanzi comes out on top over Man Mason, but Mason's going to have the advantage of seeing where, he's, where the cars get got to be. RSF1 button, only in fifth for Ferrari, I don't like that. Another set of mediums for the Ferrari keep it up the well, case, he's on for a good one. Technically, it will drop to P4 when Primus pits, and then if it can stay within that 3 seconds or 6 seconds of Scotsman, it will be a P3 forward button. Yes, Primus has to pit, doesn't he, once again? Well, does the Scotsman yep. have to pit again? No. Scotsman will be good. Scotsman will be fine, but Primus will have to pit again. But, but coming out of the corner, here on. comes Primus. The Red Bull already knows about Slipstream going into turn one. He knows it's going to be a car up behind, but it is Primus. Primus has got the absolute power in the back of that car, but they go a little bit too close to the touch turn one. Through turn two, no more contact was made after the turn one, turn one uh, clash between the two cars, but that was a bit cheeky for the Red Bull. Didn't close the door fully, but did squeeze the car to the inside. Fair, but it wouldn't be a problem. It wouldn't be a problem to let Vinny uh, Primus pass because Vinny may or may not know that Primus will have to pit again. I wouldn't even say that. I mean, I feel like he's just giving Toxic more time to just mellow and, and wait. I don't think Toxic will be complaining about that though. <laughs> I don't think he will. Um, neither would I, because I'm, I'm, I'm a part of the, the Haas team, so I'm not complaining that there's a Haas in the lead, so, you know, Craig Gisela gets a penalty for his troubles. Was that 12 seconds now? Nine or 12? Check. Nine Apparently seconds for Craig Gisela. Extra corner shot to has nine seconds. Lines. Six for Scotsman, old man's on three. Alpo, Cornish, Fish Sticks. Primus can you tell one? Can you have a look? No. We will continue to follow the Red Bull. But it's a little bit wide due to the dirty air that we get going through turn three when following close behind another car. I don't know if Primus will try and hold on for the softs or if we might just try to take these tiles to the end. There will be a push, it'll be 20 seconds left. Just to let you know, RSF4 button has closed the gap to Scotsman. Because he is a newer and more soft and higher compound, but the gap has closed. So Button, only in on that P4, which could be Same a P3. For the P3. Yeah. Indeed, yep. Podium for the Ferrari would be a lovely way to uh, redeem the, the qualifying escapade that they've had for the season so far. You could see. Yeah, you know. Ben's in the chat has just said that um, Toxic MW's now got the power and inspiration of the Ben's has given him in the, uh, the chat earlier just before the race started. And, uh, clearly it's paying off as we've got Toxic in the lead. 
by 3.1 seconds to the red behind him. And Primus Gaming all over the back of that Red Bull still. As RSF1 button trying to chase down RSF1 Scotsman. Scotsman, though, will not give up that place easily, no doubt. Old Manzi in sixth position, his teammate is currently in third, he's trying to keep up with them. Seventh is Mason Dunks from 15th on the grid, that is an impressive way to come back into the points. Craigie Center in eighth position at the moment, struggling a little bit with the car, getting a little out of the Prime Gaming is the first penalty of the afternoon. Uh, the, the afternoon. He, um, of the night, uh, getting a three second time penalty for his troubles. <laughs> yeah, um, what was it? Yeah, flag. Oh! Scotsman spun it, and RSF1 button has hit the car of Scotsman. Scotsman gets a penalty, button is out of the race. Poor Ferrari. They had such a good haul of points coming in their way, but no. It's just been taken away from them in such a, a very unfortunate incident for the car, for the Ferrari squad. They will be heartbroken at the sight of Indeed. that. Primus did pit and got on the softs. He will come out in P5. Scotsman pits and the virtual safety car serving that 5 second penalty that he was given for the incident between him and Button. Button now out. Fishsticks. <clears throat> Fishsticks has now got points. He's got a point. Grady Vinny gets a drive through his penalty. Grady Vinny, a drive through penalty for speeding into the safety car or the VSC. Old Manzi is in third. So Prime is gaming in fourth, fifth at the moment. Mason does. Old Manzi at the moment is currently on the podium. Mason has a drive through. Mason also has a drive through. So the, the two people that could challenge Manzi have both got drive throughs. So does this mean that it could be a Mercedes 2 3? It would be a well-deserved win if that happened for them. Mason Duncan going into the pit and out to serve that drive-through. Toxic MW currently the only driver on the grid to not turn penalty at the moment. But it's still running. Where will Mason come out? I believe it will be behind Algo. Nice drive-through. I'll see there. For them, as we've got a fish digs who gets a penalty for multiple warnings. Great for me. He's going to have to serve that penalty sooner or later. The next three, I think it's two to three laps, he needs to serve that drive through. Now, Chris Saints actually can just pit. Did I Chris Saints? Actually, Alco Saints is in the points here. He's now right behind Cody Senna. Ornish gets with the fight, a three second penalty for his troubles. Fish sticks, still 34 seconds behind. Um, it's a real Cornish, but that doesn't matter to him, he's in the points. Do have quite a few drivers. We have 10 drivers left. Grady Vinny does now serve his drive through penalty. Old Manzi will now take the mantle of second place for Grady Vinny. Primus Gaming, I believe, will actually take over um, for fourth, uh, third position. So it's now Mercedes 2 3. Actually, it's going to be close, you know. This is close. Is it close enough, though, for. No, it's still going to be Primus' gain here. He's gone to soft though, that's Primus. He's going to try and catch his teammate past him. Primus can hold these to the end. Only problem Primus has got currently would be the penalty situation. Yeah, Greg V doesn't have any time penalties whatsoever. He just stays with Primus, he should be fine. If he got three seconds, it would be Primus's to lose. 
Did you check the race director to see if Vinny does have any warnings? Open Vinny currently has two warnings. So, one more, one more escapade off the track and that could be a time penalty for the Red Bull. So, going down to the final six laps, I think it is. Five. Is it five or six? I don't know. Um, anyway, Toxic MW currently leads the race. Starting the Scotsman down the street. Scotsman, meanwhile, doing a bit of uh, being meditation work on Alco Saints. Alco, does he have a response? No. Not currently, he might have a response to the next lap. Maybe on, even on this lap, this could be something a little bit of a battle to watch between the Renault and the Racing Point. It's Earl Cornish, still in place. The man who started in second position in ninth. Bishdix in tenth position, having a whale of a time. By himself. I do feel toxic. sorry for Mason. Um, toxic is a. Uh, yeah, well, I don't know. Toxic is down the, uh, the start finish rate in mid seat. Mid, mid seat? Oh god. Gotta get those ones mixed. Um, fish sticks. Could get lapped by Toxic if he makes any more mistakes. Mason was saying today that he wanted a podium at one point during the season. If we didn't get that drive through, oh. it would have probably been a chance. Oh, Grady Vinny! Penalty! Grady Vinny, there is a penalty for multiple warnings. So that means it's a fair game between Primus and Grady, Grady Vinny. Don't really think that uh, Grady could catch up with Primus with a tire difference. 3 lap soft, the uh, 13 lap hearts. Aristotle Scotsman currently under pressure from the recent point of Alco Saints. Recently just passed Alco Saints, but now they're now the, now the racing point is having to come back at him. Actually, Scotsman, on the other hand, does actually get multiple warnings and receives a penalty. So, Scotsman, feeling under a bit of pressure, maybe? Look at the penalties, Mason and MW, only couple, only two drivers to not have a penalty currently. Mason yeah, could move dunks. up one position here. No penalty. Can you keep that up to the end of the race? Can also Toxic keep that up to the end of the race? But the Toxic, it doesn't really matter at the moment for his penalties. because He's got 11 seconds to let the car behind him. Meanwhile, old Mandy currently is on for a podium. I really am... I love it. I think it's great. Well, it'll be Old Manzi's first podium of the season and first of quite a long time, I do believe. In terms of penalties, Old Manzi is completely in the clear. Primus Gaming would have to pass Old Manzi to be able to take second position off of him. He would break the video, would also have to take over both of them to get second position. And that seems a bit unlikely due to the gaps and the laps that we have remaining. Craig, Craig Senna has 9 seconds worth of penalties, but he will lose the position to a recent dunks in 6th place if it carries on the way it does. Arco State also has 3 seconds worth of penalties in 7th position. By the way, repassing really Scotsman, so Scotsman and Alco uh, having a bit of a bit of a battle towards the end of the race, trying to get a bit of entertainment. I think they uh, thought it might be getting a little bit boring. <laughs> Thank you to those two. Meanwhile, Exeter Cornish having a shocker of a race. A racing point. It's not a great race for him. It's still points, but it's not what he wanted. The win was on for him there. But just an unfortunate circumstance that he got himself into behind traffic. 12 seconds worth of penalties for him. Fishix, Big Senna, gets himself 
12 seconds worth of penalties now, so it's just not going. Make, making Mason's chance of getting even higher up quite a bit easier. Yeah, making uh, Mason's chance of you know, keeping with him. It's a whole lot more simpler. Meanwhile, Mason did say before the race, personally to me, he thinks he'll get 6 seconds, roughly. Mason? Uh, yep. Well, Mason's done really well to not get any penalties so far, but he does have two more laps to get a lovely penalty to his name. But He's got a four second gap, then a three second on top of that one as well, so it wouldn't hurt him too much, but keep it clean. Certainly something to say. So, Tux him to be now as 12.1 second. 12.1 second gap to old Benzi, who is in second place. Mercedes currently on for a small podium. For the, for the team that's facing Brackling. As we said, Primus and MW both won the podium last week. Second for MW, third for Primus, I do believe. Old Manzi, I mean, back in F4 when I raced there, didn't I think get a podium when I was there, so I'm sure he'd be happy with it. Just keeping his head down, just making sure he keeps himself on the track. Being I do miss Manzi as my teammate. Or being an idiot. Ah, uh, we used to be Renault buddies, used to share the Renault. So he's called old Manzi, but is he actually old? That's still. I don't know. You know how old he is? Uh, I mean, if he joins the party, we'll soon find out. <laughs> we'll find out when he joins the party. So, final lap of the race. We'll go on board with our race leader. Which is Toxic MW. Just keeping it cool, keeping it calm. Just running the car home. Just need to push. <laughs> Points for Haas this will be. And, uh, That'll put him even further ahead. Primus will get the 15 points, am I right to say? Primus will get 18 points. Uh, Primus will get 15 18. points, Old Pansy will get 18. 18. That'll put MW 20 points clear of Primus. All of this for the championship. It is still a long way from being fully decided. We're in the sixth round of this championship. Let's come around the final few corners from 12th on the grid. Not a great qualifying for the Haas driver. He comes across the line to win the Spanish Grand Prix as he slows down dramatically for dramatic effects. And he crosses the line and wins. The Spanish Grand Prix. Oh, Manzi finished second. Great podium for him. A double podium for Mercedes. A 2 3. Lovely to have another podium. Great podium for, unfortunately for him, he did get that uh, drive through penalty. So maybe it could have been different for Red Bull today. There could have been a podium definitely for them. Mason Dunks finishes fifth. Valfa Tauri, good recovery points for them, starting 15th. Falco Saints, unfortunately, drops down one from fifth to sixth after having that um, the lag spikes, though. Seventh is Darius F1 Scotsman from 13th. Good recovery from him. Craig Seller, just too many penalties, down to eighth. Started seventh, so there's only one away. Exeter Cornish had an atrocious, I think from his standards, an atrocious race. Nothing went his way after the safety car, uh, after the pit, after he pitted. It just fell away from him. And the fish old sticks. Man gets voted. Fish sticks rounds out. Sorry to jump in. Rounds out the top ten. If you could please invite Primus, Old Manzi, and Toxic MW. 
taking a picture on his phone. The podium. Nice. It's a pretty crap Samson. Don't ask me. Um. Well, so Toxic MW wins the race with Old Man Z in second position from 16th to second. I would say he is my driver of the day. Third place is Primus Gaming, double podium for Mercedes, Grady Billion fourth, fifth is Mason Dunk, sixth is Alco Saints, seventh is RSF for the Scotsman, good recovery, eighth is Craig Senna, ninth is XRL Cornish, what could have been for the racing points driver. Tenth is Fish Dicks, he gets points, he gets a points. Eleventh is RSF1, but unfortunately they've got that crash with RSF1 Scotsman cost him points. I think he could have got some really good points there today. However, we carry on to the next race and see if Ferrari can do it once again. Twelfth is Jesse Racer, thirteenth is Jamie, fourteenth is Charismic. Chris, 12 LFC in 15th after the crash with Barry, who was in 16th and 17th. First retirement was TYG Rogue, both alphas not scoring any points today. If you can invade the top three, we'll get well. Got to lay back into the money now. Shoes. Underway. Let's be inviting. Taking a while to load. Where are we at? The price. We also have Toxic W. We have Old Mansi. One. We'll see who joins. I'm hoping old man joins. <laughs> so do I. Um, yeah. I'm sure Primus will join, he usually joins. Primus usually <sighs> wants to be in the party. Commentator's room. Drawing of the time. Yep, there we go. Talk of the devil. Here it comes. Party, oh, oh, yes. joins the party. All three are podium sitters. Are now in the party. I don't you know want to do. do. If you want to, I don't know. What do you want to do? If you want I to go do, third and first. You go second. Yeah, yeah. So you go prime. Uh, do you go prime? Yeah, indeed. Famous, are you there? Yes. I have included my audio. Good, good. Love to hear it. Good race from you, especially for the Mercedes team. You and Old Man's a good, great race. Uh, P9 to P3, good race. Overall, how do you think it went? I actually think it went pretty bad. <laughs> I hate this track with a passion. Uh, passion. Uh, like, P9, I was surprised they even got into Q3, in real honesty. I'm actually genuinely surprised. Uh, my, my aim of the day was just to minimise my point of loss because I have a bad luck here in Spain and I've just got really bad race pace around here. So I'm just going to keep my head down, minimise the point of loss. I was with Great Vinny for a good while after they all boxed and then the virtual came out which bought me the perfect opportunity to slap on some softs and take them to the end and keep the podium, although they were at 70 when I crossed the line and then he was gaining. It doesn't have a happy without me. Um, yeah, it's a good way to end the day. I actually hate this track and to get a podium here, I'm not too bothered. It keeps me it keeps me alive in the, in the driver's battle and I think the whole team is going to be pretty proud of this result from myself and Manzi, P3 and 2. That, that, basically shows Mercedes aggression now at this point in the championship. Yeah, I do believe second week in the podium, keeping you in second place, just behind Toxic MW on the constructors and overall. 
Uh, we've got Monaco next week. Your opinions? How do you feel? I like it. I like Monaco. I'm looking forward to you know going around the Azure circuit. Uh, I got podium there last year. Um, I'm just aiming to do my best and continue to bring in some consistent points at the. Yeah, well, hopefully we'll see you back for the third week in the round next week. But anyway, Malibu, you take hey, it away with old Manzi. Alright. Nice. So, old Manzi. Second no. place. Oh, no. uh, so, let's think about it for a second. You know, we had the virtual safety car. And we saw that Grady Vinny actually gave himself, unfortunately, a time, but a uh, drive through for his speeding into the safety car. How did that race go for you and what what when that happened, what was going through your head? Well I'm trying to blank it out to be honest because I didn't want to get too excited and bin it. But obviously it helped. I was still on for a P3 anyway after all the shenanigans that happened tonight around Spain. But P fifteen to P two, I didn't expect that but I'm just, I should have done better in qualifying. Is it P16 actually? P16, oh, oh yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, P16. Second yeah. to last. To, uh... Yeah. yeah. The fish sticks were behind me, yeah, I remember that, yeah. Yeah, I should have done better in qualifying to be fair. To get P2 after that, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. So, Monaco. How was that looking for you? Obviously, you've had a good race here, and you know you managed. To, you drove flawless towards the end. I didn't. I couldn't see any errors from you. You were keeping very calm, and controlled. Didn't really see who was behind you, and, and had softs on at one point. Obviously, they would degrade quicker, but you know you still had to keep composed and calm about it. How was Monaco? Like the suit you were driving. Is it a track that you? you like or is it a track that maybe you need to kind of catch up on? It, it's not a track that I like but it does look into my kind of driving style we'll just uh, try and keep keep it nice and clean and I normally tend to do well. I'm not predicting up a podium but I should, I should do quite well if I can keep it out the wall obviously that's easier set than bump around Monaco. But well, I'm not, I'm not a fan of <laughs> Well, I'm very happy sorry, to see Sorry you to jump in, though, but... Is that your first podium in how long? Uh, I think since... When was the last one? Russia last, last season. No, the last podium was... No, first podium was Spain last season, then the last podium that I got was Russia last season. I do miss the Renault old days, don't you? Yeah. The good old days. I breeze it up there, you know, nice and easy, you know, but there we are. Anyway, congratulations on your P2 and hopefully we'll see you back sometime soon. Yeah, hopefully. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Box game W, are you there? <laughs> yes, indeed. Guess who's back, back again, of course <laughs> you. Uh, P12 to P1, basically what we expect of you at this rate. Uh, you kind of drink yourself during qualifying, <laughs> but then... Look at you know, one by like 12 seconds, so how do you feel the race went? I am um, the race went quite well, I think. I um, don't have contact this race, but I'm not going to be on a penalty anyway, because it's, it's just what seems to be happening right now. But, oh, I will. But, about the qualifying thing, I was, I was just testing the, uh, the new things out in the stream, so that you can highlight a message. So I was like, oh, I'll just see how this works and how it looks, and then um, drink myself. But, I'm happy with the P12 to P1. And I think after I jumped them uh, in the pit stops, I knew the race was mine. Like, I wasn't going to lose it. And then obviously, made it a wee bit better getting the drive through penalty. But obviously, when I think it was Mason Dunks got a drive through penalty, I think if he didn't get that, he would have had a podium. Which is very lucky. Yep. But, I mean, he did say earlier on he wanted a podium then. Yeah, well, I think you may get flashbacks to it, was it? Uh, wasn't it USA the one before that? Um, Japan. No second place. Aye. No, before that. Russia? No. Singapore? The one with a bit, no, the one with a big long straight. 
Mexico. Aye, ah, that's the one. Maybe you oh, try yeah, for a second yeah, place. Yeah, I did <laughs> Anyway, so Monaco. <laughs> Uh, it's the best way to describe it. There's, there's all, there's a lot of tracks with big long straights. I'll be honest. Uh, I know, but you look at that straight, it's massive. Uh, the big, big, big long straight, right? <laughs> Monaco though. Next week, how are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling alright. Um, quite like the track. I think it'll be a, a good race. If I was safe to go on the first lap, but I know the strategy that I'm doing. So I'm excited to see how everyone else does in it. But I think. Personally, I think I've, I could get the win. Um, but I'm quite sad to be here. I, I don't have a. I couldn't get my hat trick of P2s. But, oh well. <laughs> I'm pretty uh, sure he wants better than that. I just say, um, impressive drive. Um, I'm definitely not being biased because I'm part of Haas. <laughs> but, like, that was a really good drive. And it kind of gives us more points to, like, up the Haas. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> yeah, well done, it was really good, um, I'm excited to see what you can do in Monaco, so. Yeah, but anyway, that will be us for Spain this week, join us on Sunday at 8 o'clock for Division 2 around Monaco, and then I'll be back next week. Yeah, it's me driving, oh yeah. Ah, uh, uh, it's probably a thousand names. <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, thanks for joining us here and we'll see you soon.